What's up guys? So before we get the review going, man, just want to give a quick shout out to my boy Turn Up God for letting me borrow this card and also two quick shout outs to, to my boys Che Dizzle and Fudgy the Wolf for helping me get this review done just a little bit quicker. So here we go. Legend Tomlinson, 94 overall, short pass style. 5'10", 93 speed, 94 agility, 90 ball carry, 95 juke, 85 truck, 96 carry, 96 excel, and 93 elusiveness. Also has a nice 99 stiff arm. I wish it was more consistent with you know his playing. I was hoping that, that I would be able to get a, a lot of stiff arms with him. But honestly, that was just not the case. And I honestly believe it has a lot to do, and I mean a lot to do, with, 70, with having a 72 strength rating. But anyways, man, enough talking. Let me show you why I feel this way. So when I played with Tomlinson, man, I really thought that I was going to be able to just stiff arm for days, you know, get amazing animations. Unfortunately, that was not the case, and I actually believe it has to do something with, a with that uh, 72 strength. In fact, it's not even something that I think or a theory. I'm 100% convinced strength absolutely plays a big difference. I've seen it before. You know, all these running backs with like 90 strength or 88 strength or even above 90 strength always get great stiff arms. Even if they only have like a 94, 95 stiff arm, strength plays a huge uh, factor in stiff arms. And only having 72 strength, even with a 99 stiff arm, is just going to hold you back. So do not try to turn him into a power back. As you can see here, these are just a few times where I did get a few drags, a few bumps. I, I did try to truck. Very little success right here. I do run him up the middle. He did fall forward a few times, but, you know, not to the extent where, you know, you know like you would want to do it all the time. So if you want to get the most out of him, man, turn him into a spinning and juking type of back you will have much much more success and get more for your coin than you would just you know trying to turn him into a power back and of course he does have 86 catch so do not worry about him dropping open passes if you try to put him you know run to the flats like, like this right here don't worry about him dropping him he's not going to drop him or these uh drags right here as well don't worry about it so definitely very dependable in the pass game which is always nice for a uh a running back now like i was saying before if you want to get the most out of him, juking and spinning is the way to go with him. This right here, I did test out that carry rating. He has a 96 carry. He only got hit stick, I think, like maybe seven or eight times. And he did fumble three times, which was not great odds, honestly. I mean, seven hit sticks and you fumbled uh, three of them. That's almost half, which was really surprising, honestly. I mean, he has 96 carry. You wouldn't think he'd fumble that often. But maybe it was just, you know, who I was going up against. I was going up against Sean Taylor a lot with my opponents. You know, Lawrence Taylor, you know, those guys with great hit power. So that might have had something to do with it. But anyways, um, this right here is what I'm going to show you as well, the bad plays. Now, these right here are failed attempts at stiff arms and trucks. Just to, uh, just to show you what I'm talking about. I'm not going to just show him going down on the first hit, you know, from the side. I'm going to show you also the failed attempts at stiff arm and trucking just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like these right here, of, of course, are just the regular tackles, you know, behind, behind the line of scrimmage, which I did not have any control over. But... You know, plays like that right there. I try to truck for that one yard. I could not get it right here. I try to truck. I get picked up and thrown to the ground. So, like I said, that's just to emphasize one last time. Do not try to use him like that. This right here is what you want to do with him. Spinning and juking. He can definitely spin and juke. Don't trust me. That is definitely not something you should worry about. That's how I was making people miss. After I realized that I could not stiff arm or truck with him and I could uh, juke and spin, I had so much more success. I was getting big chunks of yards, as you can see right here definitely won a few more games definitely converted a, a, a lot more drives into uh, first downs as opposed to having to punt the ball so if you want to juke with them spin with them this is the way to do it oh speaking of that i do have that uh juking and stiff army tutorial coming out i mean not stiff arm that's juking and spinning tutorial coming out soon i was just going to do one by one but i figured you know i might as well do them both at the same time because the stiff arm tutorial was a bit more you know detailed that's why it took longer to do. The spinning and juking is a bit more straightforward, so I'm just going to do them both at the same time. But anyways, as far as Tomlinson goes, man, if you want to get the most out of them, spinning and juking is how to do it. Try to avoid the chucking and stuff farming. I promise you, you will have much more success. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this review. My final thoughts. To Actually, there are right now currently no Tomlinsons on the auction block right now, but... I did um, see people, you know, still posting him for like 600k, 500k, and honestly, I do not feel he's worth that at all. Just by the way he played, I think he's worth he's worth maybe like 200k or so. But that does not mean that you cannot get him or should not get him, and you should definitely at least try him out once, see if he fits your scheme at all. Obviously, like I said, do not try to turn him into a power back. If if you can, by all means, go ahead. But for the most part, I would say just use him as a spin back, an elusive back, a juking back. That's how you're gonna get the most success out of him, in my opinion. Is he top five? No. Top ten? Uh, 
I guess you could probably prob probably make the case. But honestly, man, with all the uh, running backs coming out, man, I've, I'm not sure if I would personally put him up there. But you could definitely make a case for him if you are definitely, you know, one of those guys who likes to juke and spin all the time. Definitely could make a case for that. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of that, man. My next review might not be out. Actually, my next review could possibly be out, you know, in a few hours that campus here will wane. If not, then it will be. It definitely will be tomorrow. But anyways, anyways guys, that's going to be the end of that, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you, you guys will be up to date with this content. And I will see y'all boys for the next review. Peace.